Hello, good afternoon. I am, as always, Lutra FM, your host for today, wearing a new football shirt. This is my, this is the shirt I got from Surprise Shirts when I was thinking about doing another football manager save. It's Armenia Bielefeld in Germany, but I decided against it in the end. So, yeah, but anyway, I've, I've just thought I'd wear the shirt for the next couple of episodes, just because I quite like the colour. It's quite bright and summery. The, uh, the weather's getting better. It's actually not too bad outside today. And uh, so, yeah. And uh, yes, yeah, so where you left us off last, basically, we drew two games against some very good teams in that league, Bordeaux and Paris FC. We lost to Troyes, and then we beat FC Annecy 5-1 in the last game of the episode. So at least we ended with a good result. We're currently 10th at the moment. We've got 20 points. We're only four points away from the playoffs. So plenty to play for. So yeah, as always, I just wanted to say... Thank you. And if you aren't already, can you please subscribe, like the videos, comment, just give me some sort of feedback. Let me know whether you like it or not. If you don't, I learn from more. I learn from bad feedback more than good feedback. Obviously, I appreciate good feedback. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, just let me know either way. But I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the episode. Right. So here we are. We've got Grenoble in the first game of the episode. I do you think we can win this? But as you know, on this save, anything can happen. Fontaine is back in defence. Him and Boris are playing together for the first time since mid last season. Diagne has basically took over from Boris in the centre mid centre of defence, but nice to see the the two old boys back in defence together. We've got the Costa as right back for this game, Tete in midfield, and Pizard and Dossu as the wingers, and I think the rest is about it's basically the same as before. I think I think Dramo will be back soon enough. Oh, he's playing. He is back in the team. So Viltard's not playing this game, though. You can tell the quality of play when Viltard or Drame's not playing. They're very key key players in how we set up our team, especially Viltard, because he's quite he's got that creative little spark about him. Drame does a very good job of keeping the control, keeping the ball, giving it to more skillful players. So they are very when they're together, we play a lot better. When one of them is injured. We kind of falter a bit. Oh, Kofi nearly scored from there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. A good goal. In, in fairness, that was a good goal by Grenoble. I've been publishing short videos, clips from my from these videos. So I hope people like them, the short videos. Let me know in the comment section if you do. If they're a bit annoying, let me know. Like I said, I'm always in, I'm always here for feedback. Oh, God. 2-0. I don't know why I thought we could beat these. Then again, no. I was going to say we got a, we got a goal then. I thought if we'd have scored that. I'd have been a little bit more confident, but it is what it is. Are they going to score again? Probably. Oh my god, we were lucky they didn't score then. They are just outplaying us at the moment. Yeah, I think maybe I think that was a, a beating FC Anasty was probably a bit of a blip. I think we do need to change our tactic for the next game. To be two 0 down after thirteen minutes is not good. We need to probably be a little bit more defensive, solid, defensively solid. I do like this tactic, though. That's the problem. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to keep the tactic going until the fans or start criticising my lack of changing tactics, which probably won't be long. Oh, Jamal, though. He used to play for Bury, didn't he? If I'm right. No, Barnett. That was it. I knew it was something to be. Went to Grenoble on the free transfer. Right, 3-0. Game over. And I feel like it's only going to get worse. 25 minutes played. We're already 3-0 down. It's quite bullying. Come on, let's get a goal. Let's, oh, that was a terrible pass, Pizard. All right, can we have another go at this now, please? Let's get some slight hope before the first half ends. Beautiful ball, Dossi. Pizard. First time cross by Pizard. Get in, Kofi. That's what we like to see. All right, fire up. Let's see what we can do now. A pissed off so she might end up getting something out of this. We, oh, God, here we go. Why did I open my big mouth? That's fine. Maybe I should have gone encourage instead of fire up. I'll try encourage. See how we get on with the encourage shout. Oh, no. That was a good goal. I feel like he was offside, though. Let's see. Oh, okay. Stand corrected. I thought he was miles offside, but who am I to say? They are. They always get it right, don't they? Get in. Good, good, good. We've got some goals in us. We're just leaking them, unfortunately. At least Kofi and Fatah scored. That's the only plus out of it. At least our strikers are uh, banging in the goals today. Bloody hell, at the bar, then. Is that defence is letting us down? Come on, Boris and Fontaine. Focus. Let's try focus. See if that does anything. All right. Boris gives it to Drame. Dosu back to Boris. Sends it to Kofi. What are you doing all the way over there, Kofi? Kofi, what are you doing? Get back up front. All right. Tete, good ball. to Fazard now. Is the comeback on? Oh, no, it's not. No. Yeah, it definitely would have been easier to score. Well, well said, commentator. All right. Fontaine's coming off. 
and we'll put the, the admin and Tete can come on for Akron. See how we get on from this. There we go. Much better. Right, Kofi. See what you can do now. Sit. Well done. Keep possession. Drama gives it back to Kofi. Kofi over the top ball to Fatah. Get in. The comeback is on, lads. We're going to do this. If we end up getting a point out of this now, it would be probably the greatest result in the club's history by the looks of it, the way it's going. Kofi's knackered. Okay. Put that. Hope the youngster can have a performance of a lifetime in this game. Costa, Weisbeck. Oh, we lost the ball now. Now it's in their possession, which is quite worrying. They're going to kill us off now. Any hope we've got of getting a, a point out of this, they're going to kill off. It's the in inevitable. Oh, maybe not. Pazard. Is this going to be our highlight after all that? Go on, Pazard. Keep going. Oh, that was unlucky. Great. That was a good ball by Pazard there. Right. So we've got two goalkeepers on the bench and a left back. That's not good. We'll have to take off Bastian then. I don't know why we've got two goalkeepers on the bench. I think what I need to do is start calling up a few players from the youth team. I feel like this team's a bit stale now. We need to get some young, fresh blood in here. Come on, De Costa. Oh, I thought he was going to score then. Still got a chance. All right. Wise back with a short corner. Dummy by Silva. Or it might have just been a misplace there. Pazard. Oh my God. What were you doing, Boris? What the hell was that? Okay. Right. Throw in. This might be the last highlight of the game. Is this our last chance? Weisbeck. Oh, Weisbeck, what are you doing? Come on, let's get the ball. Let's make this our highlight. Come on. We don't want it to be their highlight. Oh, that's it. Good. Right, we've got retain the ball. Boris, don't mess up now. Acra with the ball. Oh, there you go. Bizarre. Man of the match for us so far. Oh, I've got a corner. I think this is definitely probably the last, one of the last chances of the game. Let's see what we can do. Weisbeck, who's pretty good with corners. Floats it in. Headed. Oh, cleared by them. Got retain. Oh, no. Nothing comes of it. No. I think that's it. Oh, that's such a shame. That would have been nearly comeback of the season, that would have been. But we scored three goals. We showed a bit of fight in the second half. So we've got to try and take some positives from that. We lost, but I think we would have... If I hadn't took Kofi off, I think we would have probably got a draw, but he was knackered. I just... I don't want to risk it. I don't want him being out for months because that will, that will ruin us more than that. So, right, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back. We have got a French Coupe de France match now against a team that we should be able to beat. So I'm just going to do pick youth prospects. So hopefully, yeah, it's automatically got a lot of young players on there. So that's good. Transfer news. I've decided to get rid of Fontaine. He's just not, even though he's an influential influential player, I think he might be our captain. Let's have a look. No, he's not our captain. But yeah, he's an influential player, experienced pro, but he's not good enough. He just He's not good at that display. I just need to get rid of him. So hopefully this is a tryout today for, I'm not going to pronounce his first name, but uh, actually I will try. Dalang, no, see, I've already have messed it up. Un, no, I don't. Dalaguni Pole Gomez. There you go. You've got to break it up into three. Dalaguni Pole Gomez. We're just going to call him Gomez. In fact, he's not doing well in training, so that's not a good sign. Typical. Right, so his his morale's down now, just before a game as well, which is never good. But yeah, he he's getting a tryout. Twenty years old, actually. I'm going to call him up. He's twenty years old. He should be in the first team by now. And then we've got Samaza, who's a bit more promising. Unfortunately, he's got a temperamental personality, so I don't know how that's going to work out for him. But sixteen years old, potential to be a good player for us. So it'll be a tryout for him in the long run. See how he gets on. But yeah, there's a lot of players here. I think the only there's a, there's only Drame I can see that oh Silver Silver Drame that are experienced players. Obviously Vaz has played quite a bit, but yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Also, Weisbeck has decided to stay after moaning transfer requests to be rescinded. So I've, I've took him off the transfer list and also off them a new contract. So hopefully he'll stay with us for a few more years. But yeah, Carzenti's playing. I remember him from last season. So never I don't I don't so we've got a few debutants. I think Gill's one of them, Samasa's one of them. They've played a few games for us. Gomez, Faber, Fabre, sorry, Fabre, Fabre and Anga. God, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Right. I'm looking forward to the clip of that with me butchering people's names. Go on my YouTube channel in a couple of days' time, look at the YouTube short of me butchering these names. Anyway, right, let's see how we get on. I see you're impressing already. That's good. Obviously keen to make a good impression. Gill's not making a good impression. Bloody uh, booked after two minutes. I've just seen that Hulk. Okay, we just scored. Hello. Let me just watch that again. I missed that. Sorry. I was a bit confused by the name on their team. Hulk. I wonder if it's the real Hulk. There we go. Good goal. Right, let's have a look. No, it's another Hulk. You can't have this. You can't have the same name as the greatest Brazilian striker ever. Hulk. No, he's not the greatest, but he's got the greatest name ever. And then this poor bloke's bloody took it off him. Right, Silver with the free kick. Oh, that was a good free kick, that was. How's that not a corner? Nice to see Izanga. Let's have a look at him. Izanga, 17-year-old, 
Congolian player yet to sign a full, full-time contract with us, but let's see if we can offer him one now. We can, good. But yeah, he looks like one for the future as well. We're, we're, we're very well blessed in strikers, young strikers. I feel like Robinho, Vaz has not exactly played that well. Then again, he's barely played, so I'll, I won't hold it against him. He's doing well in training and he's improving as we go along. So, And he'll probably score a hat-trick today just to prove me wrong. Anyway, 1-0 we'll up. I like the opposition's kit there with the strike across. Looks quite nice. Oh no, one more. was that meant to happen? Are they a good team? I've never heard of them. I just assumed they were a rubbish team. Oh, well, second half, we'll have to be... Oh God, here we go. They're going to score again here. Yeah. Oh, good interception. Go on, Drummy. Experienced pro in this young team today. Vaz. Oh, look at that. That's why I back you, Vaz. I'm your biggest fan. Right, 2-1. Let's get a couple more goals. Let's get some of these youngsters scoring. All right, Drummy, let's take him off. Let's put him on. Gil's not playing well, but I don't think we've got anybody else that can replace him. So he'll just have to stay... Today. Right, there we go. We've got the possession again. Beautiful little first first time passing. First time first touch up, sorry. What's it called? First time touch passing. Oh, I don't know. You know what I mean. First touch passing, isn't it? That's what it is. I think that's what it's in. Go on. Get in, Carzenti. Interception by him. Vaz, beautiful pass. Look at that. Go on, Vaz. Get in. Vaz gets another one. That's game set and match as far as I'm concerned. Right. Vaz has got the ball again. Is he gonna get his hat trick in this game? As I predicted. Abre. Fabry, sorry. There you go. Debut. Two debut goals there today. Two, de two debut scoring, sorry. Oh, Zanga's playing really well. One goal, one assist. All right, let's see if we can take off Patricio. He's not been playing particularly well. We'll put him on. I think we will take him off and we'll put we'll put him on. And then in a, in a second, there we go. All right, well, I need to do some tinkering because Delph is an attacking midfielder. So we'll put him in a more familiar position. So we'll put him as a Masala. Fabry is knackers. We'll put Lubra on. Lubeo. I think that's it. There we go. 4 1 though. We're doing well. That means we get to play another game in the Coupe de France, which means the youngsters will get another first team football experience because we're not expecting to do particularly well in the French Cup, the Coupe de France. So it's just nice to give the youngsters some experience in a, in a non pressured situation, as far as I'm concerned. Dosu's not played very well in goal. Dosso, sorry. That, oh, I can't take him off. They've got a player called Mabongo. Oh my god, that that Mabongo. Is that drink that I used to drink, that tropical drink that we used to drink as kids? Is it, I don't know, is it Bongo, Bongo, Mabongo? Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. It's like a, it was a tropical. Kids from the 80s and 90s will know what I'm on about. Any youngsters, you'll have no idea. They do, they do still sell it though, so actually anybody might know what I'm on about. I swear they still sell it, unless unless I've got that wrong. I, I, th I, feel, I think I've seen it somewhere a couple of years ago. So I don't know whether it's in the re recently, but I think in the last like five years, I think they still sold it. Sainsbury's or somewhere. Mabongo, Mabongo. I'll have a look offline in a sec once I've finished this match. Oh, good shot. Blasted at the keeper. Good performances there. Nice to see some of these prospects still doing doing well, sorry. All right, let's have a look at the development centre. It's ridiculous how many players we've got here that are talented. All right, he needs to be in the first team. I'll leave it for now. All right, when's our next game? Six days' time. Okay, see you in a sec. All right, so we're back and uh, we've broken some records. Andre Riviera's appearance at the age of 16 years, 102 days. Or so show away at Trill Sap in the Coupe de France is a new team record. He's beaten the previous record, which was by Alain Jet. Have we still got him here? We have got him still here. So he's beaten that by 102 days. So I think we're going to might struggle for a while to have somebody break that record, to be honest. And he is really good as well. I mean, look at him. He looks absolutely amazing. Him and Galvez are going to be our right backs for the next 10 years. And uh, we've still got to Costa as well, the peak of his powers at the moment. And then we've got a new record for the youngest ever goal scorer in Faber, who scored at the age of 16 years and 182 days. The previous goal scorer was Emmanuel Kalutu, who netted at 16 years and 251 days. So, uh, yeah. So it's nice to see youngsters breaking records. And we're now playing Peyu. I think I pres or oh, Pew. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm gonna call him Peyu. Peyu. No, I'm gonna call him Pew. There you go, Pew. So we have had a few bids for Fontaine. In fact, I'm gonna put Boris in for Fontaine. I don't trust Fontaine anymore. Tars back, which is really good. We've got him and Drame there. Silver keeps his place as left back for now. Beck is playing, and that's about, that's about it, really. Everything else is back to how it is. Silver and Drame are lacking match fitness, so they probably won't be able to play the whole game. But yeah, let's see how we get on. Hey, you are just slightly behind us in the league. Uh, we need to be top of our powers to beat these. Oh, God. But yeah, oh, I said blast from the past, didn't it? Brit Asamoah signed for, on a free transfer. Didn't really work out for him, did it? He did all right. At, he did well at like Middlesbrough and Forest and all that. Like, but you, you know, the way they were touting him as the next big thing, and then he didn't go on to play for a 
top four premiership team uh, or a team abroad. Uh, I don't know what happened there. He was pretty good, though, back in the day. He had a good goal-scoring record for Middlesbrough and Nottingham Forest. And uh, you asked their fans, they absolutely loved him. Did I say Notts Forest? I meant Nottingham Forest. I don't want to offend any Nottingham Forest fans. Oh, I don't know why Nottingham Forest fans get in such a hissy fit about that. I mean, does it really matter if people call the club Notts Forest? I know that they're Notts County or they're rivals, but are they really? Do they even play against each other often? No. It's not really a rivalry if you don't play each other, is it? Let's be honest. Any Nottingham Forest fans or Notts Forest fans, let me know in the comments section your opinion on it. Maybe it's some, maybe I'm missing something here. Let me know. I just don't see why they get in such a huff about it. It's like the club I support, Man United. Manchester United, sorry. Everyone calls them Man United. But there's also Man City. But I don't get in a huff and say, no, it's Manchester United, not Man United. I just get on with my day. I could grow up. That's a red card. There you go. Hopefully that will work out in our favour. Free kick. Silver, who's got a pretty good left foot on him. And it is in his range as well. Nah, but we should be able to turn things around this game now. But I say that with dreaded curse. Anytime an opposition player gets red carded, it usually just doesn't change anything about the result let's take a few players off there see if that'll make a difference mm, it doesn't look like it's going to make any difference sadly Ugh. we're just cursed to be 10th this season aren't we i just feel like no matter what we do we're going to do just about enough to stay in that position and but not it's going to be a very frustrating season i think by the looks of it anyway i'm back in a sec with the last game of the episode Right, so now we're playing Rodez in the next game. Let's hope we end this episode uh, with a good result. Diagne's back in the team. Oh, no, he played last game, didn't he? Fontaine's in for Boris. So I think Boris didn't play particularly well. In fact, I'm going to get rid of Boris as well. Just don't think he's good enough. We're not going to get much for it, but much for him by the looks of it. Right, so Fontaine and Diagne in centre defence. Galvez is back as right back. Bastian as left back. Goal, and then we've got Drame and Viltard in midfield. Beck and Pizard on the wings, and then Fatar and Kofi up front. Start being a little bit more. If you're not good enough, you're out. I've just got rid of uh, Lubeo as well because he, he hasn't really played well and he was not doing well in training and he was only rated at two and a half star potential so i've released him good goal by kofi that's a good way to start the game seven minutes played one nil up already which is good to see drame with the assist Ooh, we're up to ninth now probably the highest we've been all season by the looks of it yeah that's more like it why can't we play like this every game two nil up great little header there from a wise bet corner so we're currently eighth actually so it's probably the highest we've been all season i reckon Ooh, one, well in recent parts of the season if we end the season as eighth i'll be ecstatic i would like to have got into the playoffs but the likelihood is in it. if we got into the playoffs we probably wouldn't have won the playoffs oh good ball go on kofi oh there you go nice follow-up i feel like if anybody hits the post and then somebody scores from i feel like that should be an assist to the person that hit the post i feel like it's i know when i used to play football i used to purposely hit the post so then somebody could rebound from it when i used to play football because <laughs> i used to get bored as I wasn't the best player in the world, but I had a decent shot. I mean, I used to score quite a lot of goals because, I mean, I was playing in a little park. It wasn't like a proper football game. And uh, I lost interest in playing football by the time I was at college and school and stuff. I just couldn't be bothered with it. So I didn't have the, uh, the best ball control. So I got really, I got into my own head and I got I got really nervous when I used to play football. So I never used to like having the ball. I used to like playing crossbar challenge or like heads and volleys where there's no pressure and you're just having a laugh. I was pretty good at that. But as soon as you put me in a match situation, I just, if you give me the ball, I panicked. So, and it's such a shame because I think if I got past that, I'd have been all right. I was pretty good at crossing as well. I had a bit of a toe poker foot. I was left footed as well, which is, it's when I was a kid, most kids were right footed other than me. So, yeah, so I think I would have been a decent left back maybe or, or a left winger putting the crosses because I, at the time, David Beckham was my favourite ever player. So I tried to be like him like that. I tried to do the free kicks like him. His name is Kill Killian Corridor. What a name. But yeah, anyway. But I did. I do have a very good record for in the college team. No one else can boast they've got one goal from one appearance I can. But yeah, good times. Many, 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 many years ago now. How many years ago was that? I'm 39 now. So you're looking at, what, 23 years ago? Oh God, that's depressing. Yeah, 23, 24. 22 years ago, maybe. I was 17 at the time. Yeah, I'm getting old now. I'm 40 in two months' time. Oh, okay. That was lucky. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it, really. But yeah, like I said, it wasn't the best playing football. Crossing it in. Oh, go on, Kofi. 
let's, uh, let's get I want more goals I want this team to keep scoring because it might come down to goal difference at the end of the day and getting certain league positions the more goals we score the less goals we concede the better we do concede a lot of goals but, uh, fair play to Fontaine and Diagne they've played well today I mean, Diagne especially played really well if we could clone Diagne we wouldn't need to worry about the, the gap that Boris and Fontaine are going to leave oh, damn it would have liked to clean sheet still a bit of time left as well which is quite concerning All right free kick to us Vilta loses the ball we get regain possession through Galvez Fontaine gives it to Bastian Bastian back to Fontaine for some reason sends it all the way back to the goalie not very forward thinking there by Fontaine again that's a reason why I want to get rid of him good goal Kofi and I don't think it's going to be allowed though Let's see what VAR says oh no goal awarded good Kofi with his second goal of the game will he get his hat trick we'll see God's sake Lack of concentration now. Right, Bastian, you can come off. We'll take off Bazard because he's not playing particularly well either. Put the Baz on, on the left wing. Right, Bazard gives it to Silva. Biltard, back to Fontaine, gives it to Drummy, back to the goalie again. Come on. That should be like a last resort. There was players there you could have passed it to. Right, Dosu. Oh, nearly got another assist. All right, Drame. Oh, we can't take any more players off now. Dosu's playing well though. Got one assist, doing well so far. Right, Silva gives it to Vaz. Passing it around nicely with a nice forward pass. Kofi gets tackled but manages to pass it to Galvez before he did. Galvez with the cross. That was Vaz, I think it was. Headed it straight to the goalkeeper. Beautiful ball. Get in. Oh, come on. That was just, just have a word with yourself, ref. Get your finger out of your ear. Yeah, good man. We love VAR here. Great, a great game of football for any away fans that turned up to this game. A very entertaining game indeed. Oh, that was terrible, Diagne. I expect better from you. That's something that Fontaine would do. Right. Not long now, a few minutes left. Hopefully that'll be it. We're up to eighth now. Uh, that's good. Amazing how one result can just change where you are. We were tenth, and now we're eighth. Wise bets out for three to four weeks. Yep, Kofi done well. Right, so let's have a look where you leave us at the end of this episode. We've got eighth in the league, played seventeen games, won six, drew five, drawn five, and lost six. So not too bad. Average season so far, but quite good actually overall. I don't know, our highest ever position was, oh, does, what am I about, third, there you go. So we're as high as second and third, and then we've just kind of gone down, but we're going a little bit up, hopefully we can keep going up. You never know, we might make the playoffs. So we were only, well actually I said we might make the playoffs, we are eight points behind Paris FC, so highly unlikely, and we've got Bryn JCO ahead of us. But you never know, there's still plenty of the season to go, we're only in November. We've got all these games, we've got the Coupe de France game next as well. So next episode, you'll you'll have, you'll see the Coupe de France. So you'll see the youngsters playing a game, and then we've got Angus, Ruin, and I'll probably play Bastia as well if I've got the time. So yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. On, I think Saturday. I think Saturday is the next episode for this. So yeah. So we'll be back soon. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.